YouTube. What's up, guys? Big Fish 7499 coming at you with a video response from my boy Clint Cole Hamels Fan 1. Uh, throwing a contest again. And uh, in this contest, he wants us to show our autographed memorabilia, whatever it may be uh, actors, athletes, YouTubers, whatever. So I'm going to just jump right in. I got a few things I wanted to show. First piece of memorabilia I don't show too often. Um, it's a baseball. This baseball, um, not just this one. I had several others. Uh, one of which, like this one, I sent away to Chad True Seventeen, like way back when I first met him. Um, then there's this one, and then there's another one that's in a safety deposit box. I'll explain about that one in a minute. But uh, this ball, uh, along with the others, were autographed by several different uh, pitchers. For uh, when my dad and I were going to uh, car shows way back when I was a kid, so um, very uh, cool uh, piece of memorabilia. I do have spaces like still left on this one for me to uh, get autographed. One of the other balls I have was actually my dad's, and he had more signatures on it. Um, but let me show you what I got on this one. On the sweet spot, got Warren Spawn. On this side, we got uh, Juan Marichal, Steve Carlton. And then on this side, we got Necro, Gaylord Perry, and Bob Feller with an inscription. The other ball that I, that's in the safety deposit box has Sandy Koufax, Fergie Jenkins, Don Drysdale, and I think Johnny Padres, I think. Uh, but yeah, the whole ball is filled. And um, yeah, I just I have it put away in, in case anything ever happened here. Um, just to be safe, that's a ton of sentimental value, that ball in the, in the safety deposit box. But this one is... Just as much, I remember like yesterday being next to my dad, like getting these uh, signed by these people. We used to have Hall of Famers come to car, car, little card shows here all the time, back in like uh, late '80s, early '90s. So, um, so yeah, that's something I'm still working on. Uh, the next one was they were making a movie here in Alabama um, that included uh, two one of my favorite actors. This was several years ago. Found out that they were filming it here, so I went up out and I found a picture, and they signed it for me. The movie was called Gone Fishing, and it starred two actors or two of my favorites actually from Lethal Weapon, and that would be Danny Glover and Joe Pesci. They made a movie called Gone Fishing, like after the Lethal Weapon series, and they were filming it here in Alabama at like a state park. Found out they were doing it. Found the picture like somewhere, I forgot where I got the picture, and then me and my dad had gone down to the state park and uh, like actually hung out and watched like the shooting of the movie, and they were cool enough when they were done to sign autographs, so uh, very cool. Uh, Joe Pesci, I love Joe Pesci. His favorite role is uh, uh, Goodfellas. I love him in that movie. He's just like so ruthless. I love it. Uh, my next piece of memorabilia that I've been working on and this is just badass. I love looking at this all the time. Is uh, hopefully I can get these, uh, the rest of these signed from the 09 season. I've showed this before. It's my Nick Saban autograph. Roll Tide to Jason Roll Tide Nick Saban. I have uh, all the programs from that year, and I hopefully I can get them all autographed. And um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. I'd like to like frame them up some way, like four programs each. But that's my Nick Saban autograph on my Alabama program. And then, uh, last but not least, you mentioned that if we could show some uh, YouTubers. And I want to show some of my very, let's see, is this three? Yeah, my top three, four uh, YouTubers. First uh, one is a duel. You don't see too many of these too often. Epic Duels, Legends of Commenting. <laughs> Made by uh, Jeff Whitmore and includes Philly cards and Squeepa 21. Epic. Jeff Whitmore Philly cards. Uh, not too many of these made. I don't, maybe Jeff or uh, Motine, you can elaborate and tell me how did this come out again? I don't remember like what y'all did. Did y'all just throw these in as for fun or I can't remember. I was lucky enough to get one though, so it's pretty sick. Um, the next one, let me take out a plastic bag here, pretty awesome, uh, numbered two out of seven, 
of that guy right there. Mr. True 17. Autograph, the authentic autograph is an official autograph signed by Chad Redfern. The enclosed pieces of material were personally worn used by Chad Redfern in a professional baseball game. The autograph and materials were obtained and guaranteed by the True 17. Truthy. What up, buddy? I still have it. PC for life. Uh, <laughs> another one here. I take it out of the team bag. Um, absolutely awesome. I got this at Nationals from my very, very good friend, uh, Chris Sictifer 2024 and he actually uh, drew this up for me in a magnetic of Brett Favre in the Masterpieces style, and it is autographed on the back, Chris Fralin 2011 Nationals, 4 of 10. Chris, I love you, buddy, man. That's uh, PC for life also. And then last but not least, I know these were all cards and you said memorabilia. So I am going to throw in a piece of memorabilia here. Gone but not forgotten. One of my very good friends I've known for a very long time on here and I haven't heard or seen from him. Hopefully he'll pop his head out here on this video and make a comment and uh, let us know he's doing okay. And that would be my good friend Ron Coleman with the inscription Devs 316. If y'all don't know who Ron Coleman was, all you new guys, his name was uh, Third Mill Sports Cards, pioneer of one of the coolest blog TV shows ever. <laughs> Some of the most epic live uh, blog TV shows were done by this man right here. Not to mention just a freaking just awesome, caring, giving guy and um, Things just changed. You kind of disappeared. And I miss you, Ron. I love you and miss you, buddy. And I, this will be PC for life also. So old, the auto is fading. So there's my entry, Clint. Thanks for doing this, man. Uh, bring a little positivity, something a little bit different to the community. And uh, thanks for having it, man. I appreciate it. So y'all take care. Hope you enjoyed it. And have a good one. Peace.